Well here we are guys, back in the Burns & Co auction rooms for the first time in year 2017 Firstly from all of us at Burns & Co, wish you all a very prosperous new year and hope we can all see you smiley faces down here at our auction rooms throughout the course of the next 12 months This is just a simple quick walkthrough as you've come uh, accustomed to uh, identifying what we've got on offer here for Sunday's auction this Sunday, obviously the uh, 22nd of January, we're back at it Hopefully a bit of cooler weather for us. We're only at 500 lots here or so. As you can see, the auction rooms are full. We've got deceased estates in from uh, places such as Oyen, Mildura, and as far away as Broken Hill. So I've got a fantastic run of furniture. I'll just uh, give you a quick walk through to give you guys a bit of an idea of what we're, uh, what we're on about. Just bear with me a second and I'll try and get this in a bit better focus for you. I'll just put it in reverse and go back to the start. So all going under the hammer this Sunday, 22nd of January, 10am. Be down here Friday afternoon from 1 until 5 to do registrations and inspections. And again Saturday morning, you'll see myself down here on Saturday between 9 and 12. Get your registrations out of the road, get your inspections happening. And then we're back here Sunday morning from 8am. So a good, one, a good run of workshop through this section. All the lots... Um, the catalogue will be up online very, very shortly with all our photos. And Lyndon's asked me to remind you that bidding can start immediately. So you can actually start bidding on items uh, as early as today, being Wednesday. And you can bid right through, obviously, and then again online on, uh, on Sunday. So there we have it. A good run of antiques and collectibles through this sale. over 500 lots put together in some fairly testing weather I must say boys have done a great job in getting it all in order and on display shelf lots are full so there we have it, good, good selection of um, display cabinets in the sale that's not the only one it's one of the earlier ones and then we've got the 1960s, 70s style becoming more and more in demand that retro furniture is certainly making its mark some unpaid storage clients are also featured in the sale unfortunately but that's what happens so we've got the unclaimed storage through this section one of our regular clients has bought in some more antiques and collectibles that's a nice piece sort of early 70s uh, seat in very very good order while I'm here I'll do the cabinets Okay, this is not in any, any lot order. Some nice collectibles through here. These smalls and jewellery are in from Broken Hill. Second consignment from that estate. Okay, some flying wall ducks. Unfortunately, there's only the two. We've got the, um, the bone-handled knives. Good run of jewellery, tins through this section. Some old um, some collectibles through here. Old milk bottles, boxes, timber saws, you name it. While I'm here, I may as well do the outside. Haven't got a lot outside this time. Every sale's got a kitchen sink, and we're no different. Some garden statues and pots, timber chair. This is a real feature of the sale. This is as good as new, this Spartan camper van. Okay, being used twice, believe it or not. It's hard to believe, really. Got the annex set up. It's in fantastic rip and order. As I said, it's only been used twice. It's all ready to go here for you. Come on down Friday afternoon if you want to have a good look at the camper trailer. It's here for genuine sale. I can't emphasise that enough. It is for genuine sale. If you just bear with me a second here. I'll try and uh, gain some access inside so you can have a bit of a look. Bear with me. So there we have it inside. Timber floor. There's your bedding up top. Okay, storage underneath. You won't find one better. For the price, as I said, it's brand new. And here we've got the um, here we've got the kitchen, the cooktop that uh, simply pulls out. Okay, not so many um, not so many billies have been boiled on this one. Just bear with me. There's the kitchen. Okay, got the you got the um, hand basin there, and underneath the cooktop, absolutely spotless. So that's, uh, that's here for genuine sale. We've got the uh, outdoor table and chairs. 
these fantastic old gates, they're absolute rippers. They are heavy as. They are the real deal, not the modern ones. They even got the dog cages for the back of the utes. Dip tins, Sunraysia Icon, the aluminium ladders. Got a good run of ladders. Okay, back on the rows now. Great run of tools through this section and storage boxes. They even got the army ammo boxes. Okay, through here, another one of those cabinets I referred to. Collection of spoons right through. Unpaid storage through this section. Such as life. Okay, more unpaid storage clients through here. Car ramps, the fuel um, additives or the motor engine additives. They even got the remote truck still in the boxes, tools, filing cabinets, computers, all unpaid storage. As I said, the shelving's full. More unpaid storage through here. Aluminium ladders, all for genuine sale. These are boxes brand new, emission cleaner, that one is. That one there is engine flush. So anyone, any of you home mechanics, this is the place to be on Sunday. No doubt about that. Shelving. All unpaid storage through here, as I said. Got the electrical tools, more workshop. Then we come on to the more vintage and collectibles through here. In from a local client. Fantastic run of that uh, early timber furniture. Early vanities, love the old green door. I think there was a song called The Green Door at one stage. Rightio, then we've got the treadle sewing machine. The ottoman, endless chains. Back into some more workshop through this section. Okay, some heavy duty spanners there. The uh, generator, the outdoor shower. The outdoor fridge. Kitchenware. Got a really good run in this sale, guys. Got the uh, fantastic leather lounge sweater saying to Justin this morning, quite like that. That's in good nick. Extension tables, some good run of timber furniture through here. Spindle back chairs. We've got the, uh, the early um, little dressing table. Love these. How cool are these? The timber drawers. They're beauties. Could even go in a kitchen. Wouldn't look out of place. Okay, more shelving. Then we've got the box lots of kitchenware and homewares through here. Anyone that's into knitting, look at that for a selection of knitting wool. Back through here. Try and keep it quick, guys. I know that you've got uh, your time's your problem. A bit like me. Pictures and prints. Then we've got the white goods. Okay, good run of white goods through this particular part of the sale. We've got the washing machine, the dryer, upright freezer, fridge freezer. Good beer fridge, that one. Good beer fridge. They even got the organ. Okay. The organ of the musical type, some shop fittings, shop fittings through here, nice little ladder, that'll make good money, more shop fittings, okay, then we've got filing cabinet, pin boards, writing desks, more uh, outdoors and gardening through this particular section, we'll uncover that one shortly as we get closer to the day, but that lounge suite is in fantastic condition, more bits and pieces through here. Back onto an estate from Broken Hill. Very interesting estate, this one. Lots of military. Okay, lots of military through here. We'll get to that shortly. Mirrors, boxes of tins, even the Broken Hill mineral collection. Pretty standard up there. We've got the stereo, Aboriginal. Okay, bo box ends. Some nice collectibles through here. Another uh, early radiogram. Some chairs, even the Aussie flag. Australia Day not far away. This is interesting. Up through here, selection of flags. Even got the Nazi. Okay. As I said, lots of military connection with this one. This particular family featured in the Navy. Some fantastic photos through here. Okay. Lots of military photos. More military down the bottom. Toys. The old iron. Dinky toy there. Still boxed. Still boxed dinky toy. Nice early Smith's clock. Tins. More collectibles through here. Everyone loves the petrol and oil. We've got the cowbells. We've got the tea tins. We've got the Aussie pottery. More collectibles. Even the, Aussie, uh, the Tassie beer collection. More memorabilia from the military there. Selection of enamel signs. Even Broken Hill Mines and the drinking water there. More military photos. Vintage fishing gear. Always popular. Can't get enough of that through the auction rooms. Statues, tins, box lots. Back through this section here, some really good workshop stuff, sparkling condition, 
hardly used. Boxes full of it. Any of you old carpenters at home, get on down. That plane's done about as much work as me and that's not a lot. Got old newspaper clippings, cabinet box, cabinetry boxes, workshop through here. These are all full of tools. Come on down Friday and have a good look through. Okay, the buggy lamps, more tins, another case lot of uh, military and bits and pieces through here. Military magazines, have a look at this. Here's a game changer, have a look at that, military uniforms. And for those that are curious, the family is aware of what's here. It's our instructions to sell. Okay, it's our instructions to sell. The family is fully aware of what's on display. So don't despair, it's their call. We've got boxes again of magazines and paraphernalia. The Aboriginal uh, bowls, uh, grinding stones there, they're rippers. That is chock a block full of early military magazines and books, etc. I did that one myself. More Aboriginal through here. For anyone that's into the boomerangs, the knocking sticks, there they are. As I said, the family's fully aware of what's on display. There's no issue there. There's no secrets down here, guys. There it is. More box lights. That, that there is a complete traveller's pack. I unpacked that one myself as well. Quite interesting. The guy had obviously been over to, um, to Egypt and places like that as a, as a traveller. And that was his box. He also spent some time in Asia by the looks. And there we go, we've even got the seven dwarfs here on Sunday. Shelf lots of chock-a-block. There's over 500 lots here, guys. Give you a quick look here, and then I'll finish off behind me and I'll leave you to it. So just in summary, inspections here Friday, one until five. We're here doing regos and inspections Friday, one to five. Back here Saturday, nine till 12, and then Sunday, 8 a.m. Have a look at these flags. Been from the estate there at Broken Hill. What a mixture. They are the real deal. They've got plenty of age about them. Don't worry about that. Then back over here, we've got more shelf lots. Some really, really good clean second-hand furniture through this section. The table looks like it's ready to eat on this afternoon. We've got beds. Bit of our nemesis, but anyway, that's what it is. That, uh, that Japanese flag is the real deal. You tell me what it's worth, I have no clue. But it's the real deal there. More flags through here. Box lots. Really, really good clean second-hand furniture. This has come in from an estate down in Dyer Avenue, Mildura. You won't find it cleaner. So there you go, guys. Full details on our website at www.burnsandco.com.au. And as Lyndon keeps reminding me, you can now start bidding, guys. So get into it. We'll see you down here over the weekend. Cheers for now.